everyone, it's Elizabeth from Fern Creek Stickers and I am here to plan the week of July 31st in my Hobonichi Cousin. So I have the Boho Tropical Kit to use this week. So I've got all of the sheets for the Hobonichi Cousin. So the full boxes, the boxes and labels, the journaling and the essentials. And then I also grabbed a couple from the regular weekly kit. I have these bold scripts and also the skinny washi. Um, so you'll see what I'm gonna use this for. And I'm gonna try these out. These are all 1.5 inches or less um, to fit in a standard planner, but most of them are small enough to fit. There's like a few of these, like the weekly reset that's too wide for the cousin columns, but most of these should fit in the cousin. So I'm gonna try using these to mark some things this week. And I will show you how last week turned out. So last week we were on vacation and I will talk more about that. So there is not much here. I was gonna fill in with memory planning, but again, I'll tell you about it last week. <laughs> there was not really much downtime. I was not uh, filling in stuff. So last week it looks nice and beachy because we were at the beach, but there's not a lot of detail and that is okay. So, um, Oops, if I could turn this page again. So let's start filling this out and I will tell you about our week. So I try to usually keep it positive on here. Um, and I think it's the reality of going on vacation with a baby. Um, so, so you know, I, I think I shouldn't have, my expectations were pretty low. So, so I think that's okay. But anyway, we, um, so we went to the beach. We go every year with Brian's family and we go to the same place. We stay in the same condo. So there's a lot about the trip that we like. We know what to expect because it's kind of the same every year. But we, um, I mean, overall, I think Daniel did well on the drive. He did really well on the plane when we went to Alaska. Um, and you know, the car, it, it's a long time to just be in your car seat and be still. And on the way down, especially, it was raining most of the drive, which was really bad for Brian because he was the one driving. And so, the, um, but because of the rain, we couldn't like stop and put him down on a blanket at a rest stop. And most of the rest stops, like the inside area, it's just not big enough to like go inside and uh, spread out a blanket and put him down. So he was just cooped up from being in his car seat. But, but the, the long and the short of it is just, he did not sleep very well while we were gone. And so we were all tired <laughs> and, um, and, and like our day, it wasn't till like 1130 that we were like all awake and ready to, um, to get started for the day. And then at that point it was like too sunny to go outside and, you know, so it was just a different kind of beach trip and that's okay. Um, again, traveling with a baby, you've got to have low expectations, but I think every day Brian and I were kind of like, should we just go home early? Would it be better to just have some time off at home together? And you know, and kind of at the end of it, you're like, wait, did we really drive seven hours each way and pay money to, to do this? But we did get some really good, the, the silver lining was we got some great time with Brian's family. And so Daniel got good time with his grandparents and cousins and aunt and uncles. and. Um, so that was all good and we got every night Brian and I were able to go for a walk on the beach after Daniel went to bed um, my in-laws came and Sat around to make sure he was okay while we went for our walk So there were some really good things and again, I'm trying to keep things positive here, but um, you know at the same time Let's just say we had there was talk of a Thanksgiving trip with my family and we decided after this that we do not want to go on that Thanksgiving trip. And I told my sister who, she has a baby who's three months older than Daniel. I told my sister that we just thought we weren't up for doing the Thanksgiving trip. And my sister was like, oh, thank you. I didn't want to be the one to say we weren't up for it, but I really did not want to travel again. So <laughs> that was uh, that was a relief to hear. And a big part of it is just like, I mean, again, we stay in the same place every year and it seems as adults, like it seems clean, but when you have a baby who's getting on the floor and getting into everything and all of a sudden has mysterious clumps of hair in his fist, you're like, oh, this place isn't quite so clean. Um, and so, you know, stuff like that, staying in a rental with a, a baby who's just all up on the floor, that has its challenges. So anyway, that was our, our week at the beach. Um, I did not swim in the ocean at all. Brian went one day, we did go to the pool and Daniel liked the pool. We also, we tried the ocean with him. He was not a fan of the ocean, but that's okay. Hopefully next year. And I'm sure, I'm sure next year when he is a year and a half old, things will be, will be much better. Well, it is now the next day. Um, I got interrupted and 
didn't get back to this. So I'm gonna finish planning out my week now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is the sidebar. And I actually am gonna speed you through doing the sidebar because what I'm gonna do is set up a habit tracker using the grid. I have five habits that I wanna check across, that I want to track across the month of August plus a couple extras for this week. So um, the kit has three habit trackers and I've seen a lot of people make us make their own little grid habit tracker with this. So I'm gonna do that, but it's gonna take a minute to get that set up since I haven't done it before. So I will speed you through the sidebar and come back. Okay, so there's my sidebar set up. So I've got my cleaning schedule, what I'm reading, and then my place for my habits. And I can actually go ahead and I've started after I do, which is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I have loved everything else I've read by her. So I am looking forward to getting into that more. So now that I've got my sidebar done, let's get into the rest of the week. So again, this is going to be a week where there's not a ton going on, but this will be the last week like that. Let me find my full boxes here. So let's get started putting some full boxes down. So Monday, there's nothing scheduled. Oh yeah, but I remember now I wanted to mark, let's see, I'll use this washi. I grabbed the skinny washi and I'm going to section off a place for dinners at the bottom here and where did my ruler go there it is so just use the skinny washi to mark this part but yeah this is kind of the last quiet week daniel starts daycare next week and then i start classes the week after that so it, it works out pretty well that we've got i've got a week to like get ready for work while he transitions into daycare i wish we had a little bit more time for the transition i mean all in all it works out well because we don't have to start paying for daycare until we really need it but it's hard because i want to transition him slowly and like build up how long he's there every day but it means i also i have to get stuff done before school starts so we'll see how that all goes next week but but yeah this is kind of the last quiet week and i'm trying to enjoy my time at home with daniel as much as i can because i'm really gonna miss him when i'm not with him all day every day so okay so that's monday nothing planned pretty easy then tuesday full box and oh but I should probably write down what I'm actually having for dinner so, or what we're having for dinner so this will be um, roasted chicken thighs and that will be no Tuesday okay go ahead and write in these the dinners for the first half so we'll have turkey burger I don't know why I'm, I cannot write here and I don't know where my whiteout is. So I'm just going to write that right over that turkey burgers, not turkey dirgers and turkey burgers. Okay. So then on Tuesday, let's see. So I need to, one thing I am, I have not been great about adding stuff to the last chat chance section in the shop and kind of moving through what's available so i need to start so i'm starting doing on the first of the month doing markdowns and moving things into the last chance section so that will happen on that day so i'm gonna do let's see i'm looking for one of these dots that i can put on there so i have to actually do the markdowns And then also I will gather up trash. And let's see, okay, I'm gonna, so this one says trash day. I'm going to cut this, cut the day off it, so it just says trash. 
and I will know that this means I need to gather up the trash. So that's Tuesday, and then Wednesday is actually trash day. And I'm gonna use the script from here. I need to find it. Okay, here's trash day. And this one, yeah, this one will fit. So put trash day there, and then I guess I'll use the doodle down here since I don't have room for it up there. And then on Wednesday, I have book club. So my book club, they have continued, this is my virtual book club, and they have continued to meet while I have been preoccupied with Daniel, but they just finished a book and asked if I wanted to jump back in, and I said yes. So I am excited to be getting back into book club. And so, we need to get our schedules figured out for once the semester starts but let's see what I'm looking for I'm looking for the book here and but yeah I'm excited to see them and it's it's really fun I've talked about this before but it's friends from grad school and it's been a great way to keep in touch with them because if anything it's just an excuse to get together and catch up but we, we do talk about our book so I've got book club there and which full box do I want to use I'll use this one And then Thursday, I have small group. And again, this is, I'm trying to get back into regular routines and such. So I have not, I've gone to small group exactly once since Daniel was born. And I really miss going and seeing people. Um, so that is, Brian and I are trying to make that a priority for me to be able to get to small group now. So hopefully and get started going back this week. The only thing is I have to leave early because sometimes we get chatting and it goes till like 9.30 and I can't be out till 9.30. I'm <laughs> That's too late for me now. 9.30 is too late for me. Okay, let's put this full box down. And then, let's see, Friday we will go grocery shopping. And let's see, I'll go ahead and put down the full box and then I will, let's see, I'll use this one for grocery shopping. And oops, I will use the grocery sticker that's on here. That one fits too. Yeah, I'll have to start grabbing this sheet because I like these scripts a lot and they fit pretty well in the cousin. Let's see if I can put the doodle in here somehow too. I'm going to go over the edges of the columns so I can use both of these. It's not like I've got enough plans that I actually need the space on either side. Oh, and that barely goes over. All right, that's cute. And then I also will meal plan on Friday morning so I can make my grocery list. Let's see, meal plan. Oops, okay, that's too big for that sticker. It pretty much covers up the whole thing. Never mind, I'm gonna use a different one. Why don't I use one of the paint swatch ones? There we go. And then, so dinner. Okay, so then Thursday night will be something from the freezer because we've got various freezer meals in there still so I'll find a freezer meal and then the rest of Friday Saturday Sunday I will figure out when I meal plan again on Friday so that's what I've got on Friday and then on Saturday I will let's see is there something else here no okay so uh, Saturday I'm getting getting my days mixed up here um, 
<laughs> so on Saturday night, we will have a game night. Actually, I'm going to use this green one, I'm trying to distribute the colors out here. And we have been, various of our game friends have been out of town. So it's been a little while since we've had a game night. So, but everybody is coming back now to get ready for school starting. Um, our game friends are all professors. So <laughs> we all are back and ready to go. So we'll have a game night and then I have an eye appointment. I need new glasses. I very shortly after Daniel was born, in the middle of the night, when I was feeding him, I managed to sit on my glasses, which was quite unfortunate, and smush them. And I was able to unsmush them enough that I've been able to wear them, but they do look a little funny. So I need to get new glasses. So I need to get an eye exam. And that's one of those things that I want to get taken care of before school starts. So, and fortunately I was able to get in on the Saturday. So um, Brian will be able to watch Daniel while I go. And then I, I'm trying to figure out what sticker I want to use here. Um, and then I need to, I am in August getting back into tracking our expenses. And so on Saturday, I want to have some budget time where I can just check in on what we spent in the last week. Then on Sunday, we will have church. And there's a church sticker on here. And that fits perfectly there. Sorry, I keep moving things around here with my sleeves. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweater in July. Um, and then laundry and planner time are the other things that I will be doing. Let's see, I'm, I've been really bad about using the um, stickers on the journaling sheet. I keep grabbing it and not using them, so I need to use these stickers. And I need a full box. Okay, this seems excessively large for laundry though. <laughs> I don't need I don't need something that big for laundry. How about I use one of these flag stickers instead? So laundry. And then I will also do some planner time. I'm actually gonna grab a smaller sticker for planner time because I also need to mark that I'm gonna call my mom. Sorry, I keep changing my mind about what stickers I'm using here. Let's see, I'm trying to, trying to use more variety of stickers and then uh, I just can't decide what I wanna use. Okay, I'll just use this one that I didn't use earlier and then I'll grab these stickers off of here. There is a planning sticker in this style, but I don't have enough room for that one. Planner time. And then the last thing will be calling my mom, which I've usually done on Sunday nights. And then again, that, that kind of, my routine has changed over the last few months, but I've been getting back into calling her again on Sunday nights, so. That works well. Uh, what was I looking for? The phone doodle. Call mom. Okay, there we go. So there is my week. I think that turned out well. I feel like I'm starting to find my stride with the weekly view in the cousin, and I'm excited to have a spot to track all these habits this week. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you have a good week ahead of you too. Bye everyone.